Hey guys, what's up? I have a um, uh, unboxing that I didn't think I was ever gonna do because I honestly didn't know anything. I didn't. I heard the movie wasn't very good, and I don't have um, the previous steel book for the first film. Um, this is um, the Pacific Rim Uprising steel book, limited edition steel book from Target, and um, I get really um, OCD a little. I guess sort of. I don't know if that is. Maybe just a tick, but. Uh, Getting this film without having the first um, uprising, not the uprising, first up the Pacific Rim film on um, a steel form is going to bother me because no one exists. Uh, a couple exist actually, um, from Germany and I think from uh, China or Korea I think. So I'm going to have to try to find a, track those down because they aren't. I, don't f I do not believe there was a U.S. release of Pacific Rim Steelbook. I don't think so anyway. I'll have to check. I did quickly uh, look on eBay to see if I could find any for. $20, and the cheapest one was like $27 plus shipping, and I was like, ugh. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've got this one. I, like I said, I almost didn't, purely because of that, and because it seemed like this was kind of rare, and I did not buy this on release day. This is, uh, it's this, I think it's a five dicks, wait, day Sunday, and that could, it was released on Tuesday, and I went to the Target store that I usually go to, and uh, online I've been hearing that they were hard to come by. Um, they were rare, and uh, the the uh, Target near my work, I had checked release day out of curiosity, and they had nothing in stock, so I thought, well, it must be really, really uh, tight release, so I'm not going to get one, but then I went to my, the normal one I usually go to, uh, yesterday, and they had like five, so I don't know what the hell that is, and it's just one piece of glue on here, which is cool. I do kind of like that, that they do that. It's a little easier. I didn't look at this yet. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is the sequel to the 2000, is it 2013 or 2012 film? I think it was 2013, but I don't know. This is the sequel and it takes place about several, many years after, I think. Although I, at the same time, I actually don't know anything about this film besides it's a sequel to, to Pacific Rim. Um, Let's play. zoom in here. John Boyega from the Star Wars uh, uh, Force Awakens and whatnot is in it. He plays uh, he plays the son of Idris Elba, I think, right? Is the rebellious Jake Pentecost. Yeah, because it was Stacker Pentecost, the first one. A once promising Jaeger pilot whose legendary father gave his life to secure humanity's victory against the monstrous Kaiju. Now an even more fearsome alien threat has been unleashed on the world, and Jake is called back into action by his former co-pilot, Lambert, Scott Eastwood, and a 15-year-old Jaeger hacker, Amara. Uh, Kaylee Spaney, Spiney, Spaney, rising up to become the most powerful defense force to ever walk the earth, they will set course for a spectacular all-new adventure on a towering scale. And it's got deleted scenes with director Stephen Knight. Stephen Knight, I think, did, um, He's done stuff for Marvel, I think. So, I don't know. Hall of Heroes, Bridge to Uprising, Becoming Cadets, Unexpected Villain, Next Level Jaegers, and more. And it got it has um, movies anywhere and all that garbage. I think it's PG-13. Yeah, PG-13. It's Universal. Um, which is funny, because I could have swore this was Warner Brothers last time around. I don't know how that fuck that worked out. But uh, anyway... Um, it's not very good, apparently, but I, I, I remember when I first heard about it, back when it was called Pacific Rim Maelstrom or whatever, I was thinking it was pretty cool, and, and what's-his-face, uh, Del Toro was going to come back, but of course he didn't, it took years to become to make be made, uh, production took a while, and it's apparently not very good, so I don't, I don't know, we'll see. This is the uh, front of it, the steelbook. It's got a nice, glossy shine to the image itself, and I think the, the, um, the lettering. It is not embossed or anything. Otherwise, I think it's a matte finish. So that's kind of nice. The steel book is pretty cool. Nice uh, whitish color, too. Pacific Rim Uprising. And this is the symbol, I think, of the Jaeger core or whatever. There is a... Uh, what do you call it? A digital copy. And then just some promos on the other side. And then Universal really stupid plain discs. Clear discs. This is the Blu-ray. And that's the DVD, which is a yellowish color. And that is the interior artwork that looks like it's an interior, uh, what is that? 
Well, it's the inside of a Jaeger, I assume. I can't tell if that's like a cockpit or if it's actually just some fucking nuts and bolts and shit. So, whatever, I guess. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, shit. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to feel. I mean, like, it's, like, I got this because, well, actually, it was twenty two ninety nine, I think, on sale. It said, the shelf, it said seven twenty seven. so I, if it rang up 27, I wasn't gonna buy it, honestly. But I rang up 22, and I had a gift card for five bucks, so it was a 17 or whatever, 99. After that, so I thought, well, that's not so bad. Maybe I can sell the code for another five or something, so it won't be, it'll be like 12 bucks, so. Not too bad, so. That's it. I like John Boyega, too, and I think um, people who were in the first film, I think Charlie Day's back, like, I don't know. I assume the main stars, I assume Charlie Hunnam isn't there, I assume, what's her name? Uh, I forget the actress's name, the Japanese actress was in there. What's his face? Obviously, well, actually, I wonder if one of Ron, Perl's, Ron Perlman's in it. Ron Perlman's a frequent Totoro collaborator, but technically Gerald Toro only produced this, so. And didn't his character die at the end? I don't remember. I think he spit him back out, like, at the, uh, on, uh, what do you call it, the after credits. Or something like that, so. Whatever, I'm just babbling now, so. Anyway, I did get it. Whatever. I will watch it soon. I don't know. Probably won't, actually. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again more in the future for more Steelbook unboxings, horror unboxings, and all kinds of crazy shit. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again pretty soon. See you later. Bye.